Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about table manipulation function in PBI called as add columns. As usual, let's go to the documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement in PBI with the help of an example. The definition is as follows. Adds calculated columns to the given table or table expression. The syntax takes three parameter, the table, the name and the expression. Any DAX expression that returns a table of data, the name given to the column enclosed in double quotes, any DAX expression that returns a scalar expression evaluated for each row of a table. Return value, a table with all its original columns and the added ones. Let's go to PBI and with the help of an example, let's see how we can use this add columns function. To keep it simple, I have added a very small sample of data set here. I have three tables, product category. It has unique ID or key ranging from one to four. Everything is unique. Product category name. You have the name given to that each category. The one stands for bikes, two components, three clothing, four accessories. And have we have two more table, product revenue table. This has a product category key, date and revenue. So in this example, we'll be using our revenue column. So as you can see here, product category key, it's repeated several times, one is repeated twice similarly two is repeated twice so it's uh, it's it has duplicate value similarly let's go to the product cost you have cost usd ranging from 100 to 400 and also the product category key is repeated several times so if i look at the data model here it will be one to many relationship so the relationship between product category key which is unique, that is one, and you have many relationship in product cost as well as product revenue. Now let's say we want to create one more table. Uh, so let me call that as a fact table. And then I want to include the product uh, category key from this table. And also I want to get the information of uh, revenue from revenue table and uh, cost from cost table. How do we do that? So with this existing tables, I want to create a new table. So now let me go to the data here and then add a new table. So I can call this as a fact table. And then I can use the add column function here add columns so i want to take the uh, the product category as my main table here so i'll be using the product uh, product category table as my main table here so i'll go back to the syntax here add columns the reference main table is product category and then I want to add, let's say, the total cost. This is a name I'm giving to the column which I'm going to create. Let me call this as a total cost. And then I want to create the sum of all the cost in that particular table. So I can use some X function. along with related table function, sum x, related table. So cost, I'm getting from cost table. And then expression is the cost, cost USD. So this is my first column. Let's say I want to add one more column. And I will again use the sum x function here. And then along with that related table function, the table name is revenue. 
and then I want to get the revenue from this table, revenue USD. So now if I hit enter, I missed to give the column name here. So I can call this as a total revenue. And now it should not throw me any error. As you can see here, I was able to create a new table called fact. So it's taking the reference from the product category. So this is my product category table. It already has a product key and product name. As you can see, product category and product name. And then I'm able to get the cost, total cost, and total revenue from these two tables respectively using a SUMX function. I'm using a related table function because it has a one to many relationship. So I need to use a related table function. If it was just one to one relationship, I could have used related function. But since it's a one to many relationship, I am using a SUMX function with related table. And I'm able to get total cost and total revenue in one single table called as fact. This is how we can use uh, uh, the add column function combined with some X and related table. So according to our requirement, we need to modify the functions. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.